Hey guys, I hope that all of you are doing great. Now, what is this credit Swiss crisis that is going on? We discussed the last time the SVB, the Silicon Valley Bank crisis, which is like one of the biggest bank that we know of. But well, let me tell you, the Credit Suisse is even bigger. In fact, the other side of the Silicon Valley Bank crisis, we said it is happening because of the interest rate rise, right? Uh, this is going to pressurize Fed not to increase the interest rate the next time, which actually trigger and at the same time, there was a rescue that came for the Silicon Valley Bank. Even Bi President Biden had to come out and talk. Signature Bank, Silicon Valley Bank depositors must not worry. We are going to help. That's when the crypto rallied back after plunging below $20,000. It rallied back to, to $24,000 and then $25,000 touched $26,000. Because even the news came that uh, regarding the inflation being under control. But there is a bigger crisis unfolding across Europe. And this is Credit Suisse is like one of the biggest names one can hear when we are talking about the financial banking system. They had this particular crisis. Now, to simplify for my viewers, what exactly is the crisis? It all started with Credit Suisse themselves admitting some materialistic weakness within the financial statement with their auditors. In other words, when something like this is coming out, obviously, they themselves are admitting there is some issue going on. There is some big problem going on. Now, what follows with that? Right away, the people who have invested into the stock market of the respective company when the crisis news comes out they want to get out as soon as possible and literally they lost like so much of the value within their stocks that was a red sign red signal then came the second blow the biggest investor into the respective bank saudi national bank holding more than 10 percent of the share said that's it we will not be able to provide more financial rescue now, these two were the news definitely increased people's doubt that we are going towards the collapse of Credit Suisse. That is where the big fear across the world. See, at one point of time, when we are talking about Silicon Valley Bank crisis, people slightly losing the trust into the banking that, hey, we thought this is the safest place to keep the money. And here we are watching probably somebody not able to deal with our money and we might lose it all that's where the bitcoin was made for and we said that probably this is a moment for the bitcoin and a lot of people flocking to bitcoin bitcoin marketed itself from past 13 years created for this particular reason itself and now it is going to be happening i mean doing the mass adoption but when we are talking about the credit suisse let me tell you guys this is like a big big financial news and if something as big as credit suisse collapse is going to happen in the long run yes we might say that the adoption from the banking traditional banking system to the bitcoin or holding your own uh, i mean the new form of currency humans adopting that might happen but in the short run obviously this is going to impact the entire financial market the S&P 500 is going to fall down. The entire stock market is going to be plunging, right? And when something like this hap hap will happen, are we saying that the crypto market is the only one that is going to rally? Probably not. We just hope that, yes, the rescue is going to come. But at the same time, the deed has been done. The confidence with the investors into the traditional banking system has been shaken up. Just imagine you having a billion dollars, you having hundred million dollars. You feel that, okay, I'm not going to play around with my money. I'm going to keep it safe somewhere, right? But where is the safe place? If the banking system, what exactly happened? You know it, right? Why uh, the banking banks are failing like as big as Silicon Valley Bank, the interest rate. In the ideal circumstances, they bought the bonds. It was supposed to make them the profit. But with the consistent interest rate increase, the bonds value got decreased. It was an unrealized loss for the time being and in the long run it would have been fixed but the moment the depositors would want to withdraw their money, in that case the banks will have to sell the bonds at the unrealized at the realized loss. The unrealized loss will be turned into a realized loss which is 
which will be the big problem. So all in all, all this is unfolding. This is making, we do not want the entire financial system to collapse because it is, it has a cascading effect. And uh, even the crypto market will not be left at least in the mid run or in the short run. So we hope the rescue is going to come. We hope the crisis will be dealt upon. But we also need to understand this is the exact moment when the Bitcoin was created for. The inflation, the banking system, everything failing people in 2008 got Bitcoin created. And from the past 13 years, the Bitcoin marketed itself to get onto the hearts and minds of the people. And now is the moment when probably the next pivot is coming into the Bitcoin's life cycle. So that's it, guys, for the video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please comment down below. What do you feel about the entire crisis that is unfolding? What is going to happen? And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please ensure that you hit the subscribe button. This channel is everything about how do we make money for our subscribers. Thanks a lot. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.